Hi everyone, finally it's time for my part 2 of uh, the perfume collection videos. Uh, this is probably my favorite part. Uh, this is uh, more like niche stuff and some more limited editions and do more of the like basic stuff that I showed you last time. So just to not like kill half this afternoon for you, I'm uh, gonna get started directly. Uh, Burberry Brit Red. This is a limited edition from Burberry that was released a few years ago in 2004 obviously uh, this one uh, smells like rhubarb pie it's uh, like it's a bit sour and that um, rhubarb and some uh, ginger and stuff it's kind of vanillic so when it dries down it smells more like you know the crust of a uh, rhubarb pie this one is really great I've been wearing this quite a lot this fall Britney Spears Radiance um, this one is actually quite good I don't want to admit it, but it's quite good. Um, it's uh, white flowers and some red berries. It's not like super cool or anything, but it's a good scent and I've been wearing this quite a lot, as you might be able to see. It's quite fresh and uh, no one will like think that you smell strange when you wear it, because it's quite good and you get quite good quality actually for what you pay. My second celebrity perfume is uh, Truth or Dare by Madonna, released this year. Um, this is practically a ripoff of the old uh, fracas. It's called fracas. It's uh, quite an old classic uh, that uh, smells like uh, tuberose. Uh, that one uh, has been around for a really long time. It's really glamorous, but it smells like crap on me. I can't wear it. But then when I found this, uh, which uh, Madonna created, like uh, to honor her mother who wore fracas. Um, I found that uh, this one was quite soft and uh, there's a vanilla base in it that softens it quite a lot and it's more easy to wear than the original for Another vanilla, this is Vanille Noir from uh, Yves Rocher. It's uh, vanillas from uh, all around the world and it smells like vanilla. It's uh, really basic, a really good not too sweet vanilla. It's uh, it's vanilla. If you like vanilla, you're gonna like this one. And here's another one from Yves Rocher. This is Moment de Bonheur or something. I'm not good at French, so... Uh, but uh, this one is a rose scent, a really sparkly rose. It's quite green and um, it's, uh, it's like champagne in perfume form or something. It's really sparkly and funny and uh, really good for summer when it's really warm outside. Then this one is really great. Here's More by Demi Moore from Oriflame. It's uh, a lot of white flowers um, and uh, some jasmine and stuff. It's uh, not super cool but um, it's soft if, you're, uh, if you want something a bit more mature but still not like really big and voluptuous and uh, like that. If you want some white flowers this one might be quite fun to try. You might like it more than I do but it's uh, not bad. But, um, not one of my favorites. The Body Shop Madagascan Vanilla. This is one of the newest uh, perfumes from The Body Shop. It's um, it's uh, basically a vanilla with uh, some tropical flowers. It's uh, more flowery, as I said, than uh, the vanilla that they're getting rid of right now. So this um, is a flower version. Ila Masca Freak, uh, a perfume that people talked about really a lot uh, last fall. It's uh, quite cute with this like slanted bottle and that little snail <laughs> up there. It's really sweet. And uh, this one uh, uh, is supposed to contain like a million uh, poisonous flowers and stuff. But it's it's uh, incense and some flowers and some woods. Stars quite masculine and then um, dries down to quite a soft, flowery, nice scent. Now onto my bunch of uh, Thierry Maglet scents. I don't own uh, any of the originals of the Angel or uh, or Alien scents, but I've got a million flankers and I love them. I haven't hesitated to buy the originals yet, but let's go through my flankers. This is uh, the Angel Eau de Toilette. It's a lighter version uh, of the um, original Angel. It's softer. The notes are quite different, or a bit different at least. They are fruitier and uh, more wearable to me. This one smells better on me than the original, so I really prefer this one. My next angel is um, 
the uh, Angel uh, Aqua Chic. They've uh, exchanged some of the heavier stuff in it for corn flour, so it's uh, more transparent, of course. Aqua, anything called Aqua is transparent. No, but it's it's uh, more transparent than the original without being watered down. You don't get all that heavy caramel, uh, chocolate, uh, that gourmand stuff. This one is a lot fresher. There's like the patchouli and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a good offering for being a transparent scent. And my last angel, this is the Angel Taste of Fragrance. This was a line uh, released where they uh, used chefs to uh, uh, pick out a food note to put into the perfume that would like uh, enhance the uh, essence of the perfume. So this is Angel with some cocoa powder in it. So the chocolate is like a million times stronger in this one than in the original and this is probably my favorite of the ones that I own. Oh, it's amazing and uh, it's not sweet, like sickly sweet uh, liquid milk chocolate, it's uh, it's cocoa powder, it's like the bitter stuff and uh, it's really good on the skin. Now to keep rolling on that uh, Taste of Fragrance line, this is uh, Alien Taste of Fragrance, probably like the most beautiful bottle of all the Thierry McClare stuff. This is the classic uh, Alien perfume, which is a lot of... Um, jasmine and uh, some amber and stuff and they put some salty caramel in it so this one is also really really yummy it's uh, this one is all almost as good as the taste of angel fr uh, taste of fragrance angel but they're both really really awesome and here's my last theory this is uh, a summer edition from 2011 i think um it's the alien uh, sun essence or the amber so it's golden amber it's a very amber version with uh, some kiwi in it and uh, i've been, i haven't been wearing this one last like this last year i should probably pick it out i wore it so much like a while ago so i got a bit tired of it but you know you see like all this went in like a couple of months and uh, so it's been away for a while, but I'm gonna pick this one out and start wearing it again because this one's really good. Now onto a Swedish brand. It's called Neo Tantric Fragrances. This is Inferno Paradiso. It's uh, a lot of smoky plum. It's really uh, smoky and really good for fall. This is also one of those scents that I'm probably gonna pick out and use more now that it's getting colder again. But as you can see, it's got a lovely bottle with that like uh, female male thing going on i guess and uh, that moon in the background i don't know if you can see it it's really beautiful and my next new tantric fragrances this is manic love for him it's a men's scent but it's probably like more unisex than the last one i showed you um this one is um, quite spicy and uh, uh, it, it smells, to me, it smells like carrots and uh, cardamom. It's, it's, it smells like carrots in that way, you know, when you snap a carrot uh, when it's cold and it's, it's got that really special smell. And uh, you got that in uh, this one and some lavender and stuff. It's really fresh for being like a unisex scent. It's got that male feel, but it's definitely not, uh, you know, like sporty dude stuff. So this one is absolutely fantastic on women if you want something that's not like soft vanilla stuff. And here's Anikotal Ninfeo Mio. It's uh, a fig scent. It smells like figs and uh, citrus and herbs. It's... Uh, I always think about when I was younger, when I lived with my parents, and I went through my mother's garden in, uh, in summer and like pulling my fingers through through uh, the plants and then smelling my hands, you know, that really fresh herb uh, garden stuff. That's what this smells like. It's got some fig leaves, so it's like a bit milky and um, and uh, sweet, but still not like sugary sweet. And uh, the first blast is like a super, super bitter lemon. So it's like, you know, when you peel the lemon zest and you smell that. It's a really interesting combo. It's great in summer. Unisex works on probably anyone. 
And here's another Annie Cattal, a very small one. It's uh, Aude Adrienne. It's uh, a lemon scent. It's like lemon, a lemon, a lemon, but not, uh, you know, like uh, toilet cleanser lemon. It's a really fresh lemon scent. And uh, I like wearing this one. I put it in my purse when I'm traveling, so I splash this on when I'm like on a train or something. It doesn't radiate and kill everyone around you and uh, it's still gonna smell fresh so that you know if you're getting a bit like uh, car sick or something and uh, then you splash some of this on it's gonna feel you're gonna feel a bit refreshed so this one is a really good to have like on the go and here's another fresh unisex one it's Comme de Garçon uh, Sagorsk. It's uh, an incense fragrance. They are they have a fragrance line with incense scents, and this one is is inspired by Russian Orthodoxy. So it smells like churches, probably. Uh, no, but it smells like it smells so much like the place where I grew up. It's a lot of uh, birch, you know that um, bark of the birch, how that smells, and some pine, and um, also also that like carrot note and um, yeah this one with, with some incense in it as I said and it's it's really cold it's like snowy cold very wintry and uh, the, it's quite a, <laughs> an emotional scent to me it smells like climbing trees when I'm seven years old and uh, a really fresh one for probably you could probably wear it like at the gym or something this one is super good and uh, unisex also anyone can wear it and here's another pronunciation terror. It's Van Cleef and Arpels Likama, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's French. It's probably French. But um, this one smells like uh, lilies. It's uh, spicy lilies with a slight cinnamon feel to it. And this one is, is really, really sweet. It's, um, oh, it's amazing. But I haven't worn this one too much either. I sh really should wear some of this stuff more often even though I wear it but I should probably pick it out more often I should put it like on the front shelf instead of like in the back where I put the stuff that I'm afraid to break so maybe I should put it like where I maybe can break it so I can use it more often <laughs> no but this one is oh so romantic and uh, it's got that really really sweet like big lily scent and it's quite sharp but sharp in a good way here's an interesting one this is Whips and Roses by Kerosene it's um a woman's fragrance with uh, it's uh, <laughs> it smells like a bike jacket at a flower shop it's uh, it's got that you know uh, the cold flowers shop thing going on and that like murky leather jacket stuff um, it's got some rose some orange and uh, some woods it's really interesting and it smells so good in the summer you know when the sun heats your skin and Oh, that it works fantastically in summer. Here's one of my darlings. This is Perfumes Del Rey. It's called Amorose. It's very like heavy spring scent. It smells like spring in a bottle with some honey and white flowers and stuff. And uh, But it's like dressed in a way uh, that a winter perfume often is. It's so heavy. It's super 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 heavy, but it smells like spring So this is probably what I'm gonna wear in January or something when it's awful and gray and everything that we want is spring Then I'm gonna wear this if you're into heavy perfume with um, That skin like smell I I think that uh, because of the um, the honey it's uh, got that tinge that on some people might smell like urine. I hope it won't smell like urine on you if you try it, but I understand that it can because it's it's got that feel. But it's when that uh, urine feel turns good on skin, it smells a lot like skin. So it's quite a like dangerous thing to play around with. But if this one fits you and you like big white flowers and honey and stuff. This is like a jewel. This is so good. Here's another one of my darlings. This one, I smell like this one for such a long time, like all the time. It's um, a Perfumerie Generale Felanilla. It's um, vanilla with some iris and some hay, so it's quite dry. And uh, 
it's 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 not like sticky vanilla. Th this one is very interesting. It's not like anything that I've ever tried. It's got like a bit of amber in it too. It smells so good on the skin. This is one of my prized possessions too. And here's another quite uh, beautiful bottle. It's uh, from a brand or a woman called... I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's Mikhaev. M. Mikhaev. And uh, this one is called Oud Gourmet. It's, uh, it smells like oud, the wood. Uh, it's quite medicinal and uh, when I wore this last time my boyfriend said to me that wow something smells uh, like petrol in here and I'm like wow <laughs> that must be my perfume. So it's got that medicinal strangeness to it which I don't think that everyone will like it but if you like the oud thing then you're gonna love this one it's, and it's quite sweet and it's called the oud gourmet for a reason. It's uh, uh, quite a lot of honey in it. Here's another one that I wanted to mention. I haven't mentioned like all my samples and stuff. I've mentioned some minis but not all my samples. But this is quite a fun one. This is from uh, Mona Di Oreo. It's a lovely uh, lady who passed away quite recently. But here's her uh, Les Nombres de All or something. Uh, it's uh, her uh, like a mini sample of each one of her uh, perfumes from that line. So we've got some uh, some vetiver, some tuberose, some vanilla, some oud, some rose, some musk, like anything you can think of. It's a really really lovely collection and these scents are so good and really personal and uh, yeah, a really lovely little box. And now here's my last bottle and probably my favorite bottle. This scent is so good, it's insane. This it's uh, Sir Joff Oud Stars Mamluk. Oh, it's got a lot of honey in it. It's got so much honey and uh, honey and caramel. So it's so tasty. It's so insanely tasty. And um, some amber and vanilla and stuff. And it's like sticky tasty but not um, in that sugar way either. Because it's got that honey in it, it smells so different it's I don't really know I can explain this one this one is quite odd actually it's you must probably like smell this one to even understand it so come over here and smell my perfumes and you'll understand so that was part two of my perfume collection finally it's wrapped up um, I'll probably have more perfume like very soon but that's what my perfume collection looks like right now so um, uh, once again let me know if you've tried any of these scents or if you got some other favorite perfumes or if you don't agree with me or anything I'd love to hear what you have to say and uh, yeah so take care thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you later bye